I think there's a lot of advantages to running audio over ethernet. In my own home, for example, I've got a, a grand piano in my living room. I can't actually bring the whole recording studio upstairs to, <laughs> to record it, nor can I bring the grand piano downstairs. So if I want to record that, you know, today I'd have to, to jump through all kinds of hoops to try to, you know, run stakes up there and, you know, a lot of wire and, and very expensive wire. But I've got, uh, I have Rednet in here, which is a Dante. And um, the cool thing is I could take a Dante preamp upstairs, a Dante enabled preamp, Rednet preamp, and, and literally plug it into a network jack and put my Earthwork mics, you know, on the, on the piano and I'm recording right there real time downstairs. The advantages of these, you know, audio over ethernet protocols are, in my opinion, they're, they're huge when you're dealing with, you know, larger recording studios with, you know, stadiums, concert, uh, houses of worship, depending on the, on the console, they can handle up to 128 channels. Uh, over a single ethernet connection. I, I'm sticking with the 128 because technically the Dante standard can do 512. Now, you know, 128 input consoles going to cost you a lot of pennies, right? Um, so let's, we'll just talk 64 and down because even a 64 channel console is a big console. Let's just say you have two, two stage boxes, uh, you know, up on stage, 32 channels a piece, 64 channels. You have 64 channels of input that are going to run over a single cat 5e cat 6 cat 6a wire back up to your console and, and honestly it's going to be cleaner because your a to d conversion is happening up on stage so therefore your your chance of crosstalk and all that just is eliminated because you know typically in a snake especially when you start talking 100 200 300 foot snakes you know crosstalk becomes a major problem and let's face it snakes analog snakes are not cheap that's a lot of copper that's in there. Whereas your little cat five cable, you know, uh, you could fly it in the air. You could do anything you want. So not only from a size perspective, but, you know, from the crosstalk and noise perspective. And so now we, we're starting to stack these benefits. I mean, you have the, first off, it's for, for those of us who have run a stage snake and picked up a stage, a stage snake, it's a lot easier, less noise, because now we're entering the digital realm to explain that for some people, the microphone preamps are on the stage box the microphones are pre-amplified and then quantized to a digital signal. So now they're far less susceptible to noise rather than the, you know, a microphone signal would have been running all the way from the stage to the console and then being pre-amplified. One thing that I really like about Dante is that they have the Dante controller app. So that allows you to change host names and all of these configurations, but you can also patch things seamlessly in, in real time. Can you talk about that? Absolutely. Yeah. It, it's, it's actually, you know, it, it's really cool. Um, so you can look at it as, as this big matrix grid, or you can flip it over and actually look at the device and patch the device. But the transmitter is the one that that's, that's sending the signal. The receiver is the one that's receiving the signal. So the receiver remembers what it was patched to last, even after you turn it off. So you shut the thing down and you bring it back up again. And that receiver is going to go, Oh, I was connected to, to this, 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 and it, it just remembers everything. So if everything in a Dante network, all the receivers remember, we don't have to patch both sides. Now we only have to patch one side because every time you bring that system up, providing it's all the same, all the receivers remember each other. They just automatically reconnect and go. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's so ridiculously simple. And you can see all that patching happen inside of controller, right? Dante controller. A controller, I mean, gives you just a, a limitless flexibility to be able to to disconnect one and connect another or virtually connect, you know, five different things together in different rooms, the same room, it doesn't really matter. And what's great is that you could expand this at any time. You know, if you get, like you said, if you get a, a network switch with a few extra ports and you run out of inputs or you run out of outputs, all you have to do is add another trans Dante transmitter or Dante receiver and you've you've got those analog ins or outs. I want to quickly just talk about the topology of this. So what it would look like is you've got you know a network switch and then everything is just basically a home run or a direct connection to that network switch. That's called the star topology, correct? Exactly. It's a star topology where everything meets in the center point and it's awesome because you can just add on to that. Um, if you wanted to have redundancy, you would make two of those essentially using the primary and secondary Dante ports on each device. Just remember, you got to keep them separate. Keep them separated. Yeah, you, keep, you can't combine the two or you'll have a mess in your hands. 
but there's two paths for the audio to go, right? So, you know, if one fails, the other one is, it's seamless. It just, it just kicks over and takes off. So primary fails, secondary hits. It's the way it should be. I mean, we build networking in the networking world. I mean, we build stuff to not fail and we try to, to get as many redundant paths as possible. So there's no center point of failure. You know, it's it's been interesting, Kyle, to see that the adoption rate for AVB versus Dante. Dante is the only one of the bunch or the only one of the two that we can route, meaning I can get out of one subnet and go to another. Um, and it, it it's really cool. Now you do need an extra piece of software called Dante Domain Manager to do that, but you can do it. If I have another network and they could be sitting right next to each other. So I have network A here and I have network B here but they're separated, completely separate networks. If I want to take and bring traffic from here into here, I need a router. So I can typically not route traffic from here to here, just using the standard Dante or ABB or any of the protocols that are out there. But with Dante Domain Manager, that is a whole different world. Dante's Domain Manager, it's a piece of software that loads up on a master machine and that master machine takes care of and looks at every single node that's out there and it will pick a master clock source and it will actually drag create latency on purpose to match clocks up between networks so those networks are just dead locked up on each other you know it, it literally just does all that work for you so not only what you're speaking but also what you hear is completely locked in sync and oh by the way it does video too so maybe these two networks are right next to each other in the same building maybe it's you know one's in america and one's in australia <laughs> the, the flexibility is really um in my opinion it, it's just far above and beyond any other type of interface that that you can purchase that doesn't mean they're the best end-all be-all but flexibility wise, you know, especially when you're, when you're talking live sound and, or very large studios, it certainly is an awful neat thing to, to look into. It's fascinating. The deeper you get down the rabbit hole, the, the, the just crazier it gets and, uh, and the things that you can do with it. Um, it's, it's quite amazing. If nothing else, even if you don't have the, the need or the money to put into it, I think it's pretty cool. I'm a level three. So, uh, both first and second edition, uh, which is the highest level of Dante certification you can have. Uh, the training is free, by the way, on Nate's website. I mean, just go do it. And, uh, and quite honestly, you're going to get a hell of an education on, uh, on audio over Ethernet in general.